Letter from the Plastic. Dear human friend, I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speaking out today and here. That you are listening to me. And that someone finally asks me about all of that. Because I seem to have played a leading role in the economic progress debate a long time ago. And nowadays, I still seem to be holding this leading role in the Save the World discussion. Unfortunately, my connotation has changed from positive into negative. That is somehow crazy, because I'm still the same, even though I have evolved. I can remember my birth so well. After you, human, have been looking for a solution almost a hundred years long to be able to store food in a better way, to find another material for the creation of daily used objects, something cost-effective, resilient, reusable, light. It was in 1839 when Charles Goodyear started the plastics manufacturing with a combination of rubber and sulfur. Then, in the 1940s, many developmental attempts later, I finally was celebrated. Plastic. In 1950, one million tons of me were produced worldwide and in 1960, the PET bottle was welcomed in the world. And now you, human, produce about 370 million tons of plastic every year. I am the only material that is lightweight, shatterproof, elastic, temperature resistant and above all I can be produced at different levels of hardness. I still stand for progress, even today, because I am infinitely usable by my characteristics and the ability to adapt to almost any context. I'm also incredibly economical, because I support car manufacturers in making the vehicles very light so that they have a lower fuel consumption. Planes are so light through me that they consume significantly less kerosene than you ever believed. And if you, human, think about renewable energy, without me, there would be no wind turbines or solar cells. Even against the frightening population explosion, I am the perfect material Just think of how many children you would have created if there were no condoms. Yet, dear human, I have this feeling of a but, because I'm worried about my survival in this world. You know, for yourself, that I'm brought about by limited raw materials. And you also know that through all these additives and these synthesis procedures through which you sent me, on the way to becoming the final product. You make me cost a small amount economically, but our Mother Earth and me, ecologically, we pay for that in reverse, all the more so. At first, you do this distillation on the petroleum and the valuable raw fuel. For this procedure, you need other petroleum components, such as gas, diesel, heating oils and gas oil. Then, the cracking process follows, which splits raw fuel into ethylene, propylene and other hydrocarbon compounds. And after that, I, the plastic, can through synthesis, like polymerization, polycondensation or polyaddition, finally be formed and used as you wish. And as far as plastic diversity is concerned, You are quite innovative, dear human friend. You know so many additives. Plasticizers, dyers, stabilizers, flame retardants and much more enable me, the plastic, to evolve in thousands of facets. So now you have created me, dear human. And if you ask me, I believe that I am just great. You are proud as well. On one hand... But the resources are decreasing. Plus, something else has happened. Something that you and I did not think of 
when we innovatively looked at the economic progress over a hundred years ago. We forgot our planet, our Mother Earth. The short-term success had distracted us from the long-term consideration. It is very painful to have once been hailed as a hero and then to become degraded all at once to the evil of the world. To have created a dependency that now makes it hard to retire in humility and gratitude. Because even if I am extracted from a natural raw material, I never was, am not, and will never be biodegradable. I caused a big environmental problem because I do not just rot. A piece of me can swim around in the sea for about 450 years until it decomposes into smaller microplastics. Every year, about 32 million tons of mine enter the environment, 8 million tons of which enter the sea. On one hand, I am ashamed. On the other hand, it is as it is. And we are in this together. I offer myself to you, human friend, and to you, Mother Earth. Take me, shape me into something I can be for you to serve the survival of humankind and the world. You don't need to create anything new all of a sudden, when there's already so much of me. Just tell me which ocean current to follow, so you can collect me at best. Take me into your research staff to develop a product that is similar to me, but biodegradable. Take your time with it, because I still exist for at least 450 years. During this time, we might be able to slowly and deliberately give birth to something new, together. And I could regain my positive connotation and find a way to peacefully retire. That would be so nice. Thank you, dear human friend, for listening to me. Your plastic. <laughs>